And hello, Miss Bali. Hi, <laughs> lovely cravat situation. Thank you. <laughs> A big, a big, big congrats on the crown. The first four episodes I saw made me cry. Now I can't wait for the remaining episodes. <laughs> pretty, pretty emotional, isn't it? Pretty emotional. Yes. You've been a movement coach of the crown since 2019. Now, please explain to our viewers what a movement coach is and how you helped create the crown. Sure. So um, a movement coach in the context of something like the crown um, is somebody who works with the physical life of the actors so anything physical that um they do is something that i will help them unpack and help them create so that they are their own version of the characters because of course the crown is about people that already exist so there's a kind of um it's a lot of pressure for an actor to suddenly come and play the queen um, and and sort of do what they think the queen might do. So I'm there to go, well, let's work out what it actually is. What is their relationship to space? What is their relationship to weight? Where do their eyes look? What's their heartbeat doing? Um, As well as what the psychological impact of the scenes that they're involved in, how they affect the body and how the body affects the scenes. You know, you've, you're, 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 Intriguing, right? I mean, you jump from like Elvis <laughs> to Whitney Houston to now Princess Di. I mean, Elizabeth Debicki when she moves, I mean, it's very Princess Di-ish. What were some of the challenges that uh, were presented to you in creating this season? Um, I guess the 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 thing because it's the final season is about the aging of these characters. Is about how they move from season five to season six and how. Um, how their bodies are holding more information because the characters are older. Um, you know, we we gather our experiences in our bodies and they, we carry them around with us um, unless we've got a really great therapist to get it out. But, you know, there's that we we travel with it. We've, we've got it around us. So for Diana, her relationship to her sons and and to her romantic lovers changes, her relationship to the press changes, the paparazzi Um, Her relationship to the royal family changes. So all of that is carried in her body in the same way that Prince Charles is getting older. His mother is getting older. The idea of becoming king is getting closer. So there's a lot of physical change, very, very subtly twisting and and, um, ebbing and flowing. So working, working with those guys on that, but also a lot of young actors coming in to the crown for the last season. So the the boys playing Prince William and Prince Harry and uh, Meg playing Kate Middleton, working with people that don't have as much experience as our older cast, as well as inviting them into the world of psychophysical movement and uh, helping them unpack their characters that they're playing. Wow. You know, at its heart, Miss Polly, I mean, the, the first four episodes is about uh, the death of Princess Di, right? I could remember where I was when she died. Can you, where were you when Princess Di died? Do you know what? I was, um, I remember coming downstairs and my mum was sitting on the floor in the kitchen uh, and was absolutely like struck by it. And I had never seen my mum in that sort of state. So my memory, you know, and this is how we remember things is we remember it physically, right? You remember the place. You don't remember what was said, but you remember where you were. And I remember seeing my mum on the floor and then I remember sitting in front of the television and watching the footage of the car crash. Um, So, yeah, it's a big part of, um, you know, everyone's history, but particularly British history. And so that's why it's key to remember those things as me, but try and unpack what actually happened for the actors. So it's not embedded. It's not affected by what I think. It's not my experience. It's what actually happened. And that's what we try and imagine into. And those for first four episodes will be released by Netflix on November 16th, I believe. And the last six is about the Queen. How, what do you think is the legacy of Queen Elizabeth? I mean, how did she impact the world, Miss Polly? Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's been, it was, you know what, it was so interesting being on the set of The Crown on the day that the Queen passed away because there was something so deeply moving about their being an impending end for us but uh, an end you know in time at that moment and 
you know, whether you're a monarchist or whatever you think about the monarchy, it is still somebody who worked and delivered a job for an incredibly long time. Um, so the legacy for me is there's somebody that stuck to their word and there's somebody who did a lot of work for other people. Um, no matter what any other thought is, that's the thing I stick to. And I miss her. I miss the presence. I miss the feeling of of her in our in our country, but also because the crown gave me such a a sort of dialogue with her in a way. I feel very connected to to this family. But now it's leaving too. The crown is ending. So what am I gonna do? <laughs> what would you do, Miss Polly? Need to get a new job. Oh <laughs> well continue moving and continue creating space for us, Miss Polly, okay? Will do, my love. Oh, a big congrats on the crown again and long live the crown. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Good luck on everything. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Bye, my love. Bye-bye.